let n of a denote the number of elements in set a if n of a is equal to seven and n of b is equal to nine and the number of elements in the intersection of a and b is equal to four then how many elements does the union of a and b have and the union of two sets is the set of all elements that are either in a b or both sets and say if both sets have the number four in them then that would only be counted once so to solve this problem we want the number of elements in the union of sets a and b and basically this is just the total number of elements in a plus the total number of elements in b minus any elements that are repeating in both sets and the intersection of the two sets tells us how many numbers they each have in common and in this case it's the number four so the union is just the number of elements in set A plus the number of elements in set B minus the number of elements in the intersection of the two sets. And in our case, the number of elements in A is 7 plus the number of elements in B, which is 9, minus the intersection of the sets. We know that they share 4 in common, so minus 4. 7 plus 9 is 16, minus 4 is 12. So 12 is our final answer to this problem. And to verify this, let's look at a much simpler example. So let's say we have two sets, K, which contains 1, 2, 3, and 4 and set M, which contains 3, 4, and 5. So we'd say number of elements in set K is 4, number of elements in set M is 3, and we'd say that the number of elements in the intersection of these two sets, you can see they each share 3 and 4, so this intersection would be 2, and to figure out the number of elements in the union of sets K and M, we just need the number of elements in K plus the number of elements in M minus the number of elements in the intersection of K and M. So we have the number of elements in K is 4 plus the number of elements in M is 3 minus the number of elements that each set shares with each other, so that would be 2. So our final answer would be 5, and you can see very clearly that 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are the total number of unique members in these two sets. So we verified that this formula works here, so now we know for sure that our answer is indeed 12.